All right, so I have some great news. My sheep have started bagging up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna interrupt my flow of normal video releases, and I'm gonna to talk to you about sheep pregnancy, how to tell if they're pregnant, and when to tell they're getting close. Let's get to it. I'm gonna go over five ways in which you can tell if a sheep is pregnant. The first one, which isn't really necessarily to tell if they've been pregnant, but more so to tell that they've been mated, and that is to mark the ram. So they, they make things which are called marking harnesses, which even though I know these are my ewes, not my rams, it's a harness that you put on the sheep and underneath on the bottom on their chest is a piece of chalk. So that way, every time the ram mounts the sheep, it leaves a nice chalk mark right here on the sheet on the ewes back and what you do is you put that on them you leave the ram in with the sheep you log the date that they get marked and then you wait two to three weeks and you see if the sheep or the ewe gets marked again if the ewe gets marked again i personally wait another cycle to make sure that the ewe has been marked and whenever the ram stops marking the ewe i know she's pregnant because the ram is the best indicator of when these ladies are pregnant or not. They know best. So the first one, buy a marking harness for your ram and log when the ram gets, when the ram marks the ewe. That also kind of gives you a pinpoint of as to when to expect some, some baby lambs. The second one is gonna be blood testing. I personally have never blood tested my sheep, but the way you do it is you have to draw some blood the best way or the best place to draw the blood on a sheep is actually the vein on their neck which they're not going to let me show you where that is in order to do that you actually have to shear the wool pretty close down to get to the skin so you can actually see the vein then you have to buy the hypodermic needle inject it into the vein draw the blood put the blood on the the test strip it gets complicated i've done it with a cow i've never done it with a sheep but that is one way in which you can also tell if a sheep is pregnant. Okay, so the third way in which you can tell a sheep is pregnant is by actually looking at the shape of the sheep. This one works best with comparison if you have a pregnant and a non-pregnant sheep. Otherwise, it can be kind of hard to tell. Right? Is it just a fat sheep or is my sheep actually pregnant? So <clears throat> when you look at the sheep, we'll turn her around. Best way to do it is gonna be from behind. So when you're looking at the ewe, from behind, you'll see that here in her abdominal area, she's going to be wider or bigger. Now, yes, you're saying, but JD, she's got a whole lot of wool. I know she has a whole lot of wool. That's why comparison is best. So if you have two wool sheep, you can see one's gonna be sunken in a little more. The other one's gonna be a little more rounded, particularly on her right-hand side. With sheep, they say lunch is on the left. So typically, if this side's real full, it just means she had a big lunch. If this side's full or wider, then that's where the baby or the lamb is actually going to be resting. So what I'll do is, this is what she looks like from behind, and then I'll show you comparison to my ram, what he's going to look like. Okay, so this is my ram for comparison. You can see the difference. He's a lot skinnier right here around the short around the short rib area. He's been on the exact same rations as my ewes. And body conditioning him, he is very well conditioned. He might actually be a little on the fat side. But you can see he's a lot more sunken in in the waist area. And his belly's really flabby, even though he's been on grain and grass all night. So there's a big difference between the way he looks, especially from the rear end and kind of the top down, in the way my ewes look, despite his, the staple length of his wool being the exact same. So here's what a non-pregnant sheep should look like from behind as in comparison to the pregnant sheep. Hey girl. The fourth way that we can tell a sheep is pregnant is gonna be palpitation. Palpitation, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna want the sheep to not have any food for at least 12 hours. So that way you can tell the difference between the left and the right hand side. Is she just full or is she actually pregnant? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill around on the abdomen. Unless you know what you're doing, I'd recommend filling gently so you don't injure the lamb. 
and you're just going to compare both sides and if her belly is tight then that's an indication of pregnancy if it's loose and flabby then she's probably not pregnant so she's tight on both sides despite being in the stall for 12 hours she's also pretty close to actually lambing okay so now we're going to be talking about the fifth way and that is the sheep is bagging so as i said at the beginning of the video my ladies have just started to bag what that means is their mammary glands their udders are starting to fill with milk and they're starting to get ready for the actual milk production this can happen anywhere from typically a month out now some sheep bag up earlier some sheep bag up later it's going to be sheep dependent you'll eventually see what your ladies do mine are right around that month mark which is kind of typical and then the size of the bag is also going to be different based upon the type of sheep so my sheep that has more dairy genes in her she gets a much bigger bag and it's a lot more prominent and evident than my sheep that has more tunis in her her bag she still exists but it's smaller okay so that's five ways in which you can tell if a sheep is pregnant you can mark the ram so the ewe gets marked you can do a blood test you can just observe the body condition of the sheep you can palpitate the sheep feeling the abdomen and you can wait for the sheep to bag up so i hope that helps i hope you like subscribe and stay tuned for more content like this we're about to do a whole lot of videos on these fun little balls of wool <laughs>